everyone, it's the amazing Ryan here, and today I'm going to show you how to get one of these Chinese Adreno Mega 2560 boards to work. So, you probably bought one, you plugged it in, the first time uh, it worked, you were able to upload your um, data, um, your script, or your sketch rather, script, I don't know, what am I in a movie set? You are able to upload your sketch the first time. Uh, or maybe not, maybe you haven't been able to at all, but it's very common to get this timeout error. So I'm going to show you how to do a real quick easy fix for that. I'm sure you guys have already tried the different drivers and all that, but first of all, what you need to do if you have the Chinese Mega 2560, um, when you, if you bought it off like eBay or Amazon, they'll give you a link to where you can download the driver. I would recommend making sure that driver is installed. You can go to your device manager. Uh, and then you can go to, uh, if you have it plugged in, you can select it, you can uninstall the driver, and then you can select the driver that you downloaded from the vendor and install it, make sure it works. It's probably still not going to work because it doesn't for me. So basically, this is what I have here. Here is a sketch. It's for my 3D printer, which as you can see is in pieces. Uh, so what we're going to do, um, I have my sketch, I have it all done, uh, sorry I'm shaky, it's for my medication, but um, if you go to click Upload, You'll see uh, it compiles sketch. It says it's uploading, but the lights stay red. Um, the RX light is flashing, but it's not actually uploading. And what it's going to do is it's going to give a timeout error, and it's going to say cannot upload. Um, I'm sure you guys have already seen this. You guys are probably pulling your hair out trying to figure out why these, this keeps happening. So what I'm going to do is after this finishes and does the timeout error, uh, I'm going to show you guys the quick and easy fix to make these work. Um, and it's very simple. It's, it takes two seconds and you don't even have to do any hardware or any configuration changes or anything like that. Um, it's really, really simple. So just sit tight, um, and I'm not even going to let this go to the timeout error because it takes too long, and I don't feel like sitting here uh, talking, and I don't want to have to edit this video. So um, what I'm going to do, well, let's just pretend it says timeout error, uh, AVR dude or whatever um, is is uh, STK 500 timeout error. Whatever, let's pretend it says that, because it will after a minute. If I wait another minute, it'll probably say it, but I'm getting impatient. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pretend like that's what happened. So Because I'm sure you guys have all seen that a hundred times. So I just unplugged it, uh, and now it's saying that. So here's the trick. You guys ready for this? All right, all you have to do, you click Upload. You wait. When it gets to right there, boom, hit the Reset button. <laughs> I know you guys didn't see that, but when right at the very second it's done compiling the sketch, hit the reset button, and it was, you can see, it's uploading right now. It's working. Um, and it will actually successfully upload um, the data, and you'll have everything you need. I'm going to show you guys that one more time uh, in just a minute. I'm going to let it finish uploading because I don't want it to be corrupted. Um, but again, all you have to do is when you click on the upload it'll say compiling sketch um, when this green bar almost gets to the end hit that reset button real quick and then it will start uploading onto the board as you can see it's working it's still uploading it's, it's a pretty big sketch so it's gonna take a minute um, but once it finishes there we go done uploading see that successfully uh, now one more time I'm gonna hit upload I'm gonna watch that little bar, boom. You see that? It's all about timing. Once you get that timing just right, it's probably not going to work for you the first couple of times. I've had to constantly change my sketch um, to get this printer to work. So I've had to do this a hundred times, so I got the timing down really good. So if you don't get it the first couple of times, just keep trying. Um, occasionally you'll hit the button a second too soon, and it'll tell you um, there's an error communicating with the board. Just unplug it, plug it back in, and start over. But that is how you get the cheap Chinese Adreno Mega 2560 to actually upload a sketch uh, and not get that timeout error. Uh, it works every time. It's worked for me every time, and then the sketches that upload do upload successfully. So that's the trick. I hope that helped you guys. If it helped you, if I just saved you, if I just if I just made your day, just uh, do me a favor and hit the like button. Uh, give us a thumbs up, you know. 
Um, and then subscribe to my channel. And I've got other videos regarding 3D printers, costume making, uh, Ghostbusters, proton packs, and whatnot. So subscribe to my channel uh, and give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, and just for just for just for S's and G's, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna hit upload. We're gonna wait. Boom. See that? Every time. Every time. Just keep in mind, guys, um, that um, I'm not a technical wizard. Uh, I just kind of found that out on accident from getting frustrated with this. Um, I complained to the people I bought it from because there's a lot of these that have a problem with the bootloader. And that's where the problem's at, is with the bootloader, inside the actual Adreno Mega 2560 knockoff. Um, by the way, guys, I do have a genuine Adreno Mega right here. This is the real deal Holyfield. I bought this because this is the second Chinese one I've had. And um, I could the first one I accidentally burned out the the transistor or the voltage regulator. Um, and then I bought this one and was having the problem before I discovered how this trick with the button. I was getting frustrated and I went ahead and ordered the original um, actual Arduino Mega. I'm not happy with it. I haven't been able to upload um, any 3D printer sketches onto it. Um, if I upload an example sketch, a cheap, like a cheap, you know, the, in the Arduino they give you some examples that you can print. One of them is like Blink, makes this little light blink. Um, it'll upload those sketches no problem, but when I go to upload a 3D printing sketch, um, it says that there's a mismatch. Uh, it gives me an error code, something like a mismatch. I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm not going to be using the or genuine Arduino. Um, I thought that it was going to be like gold compared to silver. But quite honestly, this is silver and this is gold because this I'm able to get to work and this I'm not. So um, I do recommend the genuine Arduinos because of the fact that it is better quality. Um, but for the purposes of what I'm doing, um, I'm unable to use it for some reason. And the forums are really difficult. I, I don't understand code. I don't understand a lot of this stuff. So for being a novice, um, and I'm trying to read, and might as well, everything I read might as well be in French because the stuff they say, I don't understand half of it. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Uh, and that's it. Peace out. Bye!